morning. Every single morning, I usually wake up between 7 and 7.30 to the sound of my alarm, get up and open the blinds. I try to get out of bed as fast as possible, but during these winter months, it can definitely be harder sometimes. One habit that I try to implement every single day is making the bed. It's one of those small habits that sets you up for success for the rest of your day. I feel like it's also just so nice being able to jump into a made bed at night. After that, I usually go and pick up my clothes for the rest of the day. Today, I decided on this lovely white cable knit sweater and some black jeans and obviously cannot forget the fun and weird socks. Now it's time to get ready for real and I just decided to listen to some Christmas music. I've been loving pretty much all of Pentatonix's Christmas albums lately. First thing I do is wash my face and I usually just do this with plain old water and dry my face off with a towel. I used to use a lot of products uh, back in the day but have really come to realize that my face does best when I'm not doing too much to it. Next up I put on moisturizer and makeup. This is a Trader Joe's moisturizer that I just put on my face every morning and I just rub it in. I do also use an eye cream and this is from Origins. I love how it just moisturizes and brightens my eyes. And yeah, next up we'll put on some deodorant. This is actually the Schmitz deodorant. It comes in a glass jar and I use the scent bergamot and lime. It's definitely different. It's kind of a cream moisturizer that you put on and just kind of let rub in. While it's definitely not perfect, this is definitely one of the better natural deodorants I've used. Because you apply the deodorant directly with your hands, I always make sure to wash my hands after using. Next up, I usually apply perfume, and this is Belle de Nuit, and this is a perfume that my parents actually got for me when we were in Paris a few years back. After that, I usually apply makeup, starting off with some concealer. This concealer is from NYX, and I usually just put it on uh, my darker red spots and underneath my eyes. I don't know what it is about Christmas, but I've definitely been enjoying using my highlighter just a little bit more lately. And then after my face is done, I usually move on to doing my eyebrows. I am using just a darker color from my Naked palette because I don't actually have uh, eyebrow color. And I'm using an e.l.f. eyebrow brush, which I have been absolutely loving. And then I usually like to put a few sweeps of eyeshadow on my eyes. I do change the colors up that I'm using quite frequently, but they all do come from the Naked palette as that is my only eyeshadow palette. I'll be honest and admit that I am horrible at removing eyeliner at night, so what I usually do in the morning is just touch up whatever is left over from the previous evening. After that, I just go on with a little bit of mascara just to add a little bit of definition to my eyelashes. The last thing that I do makeup wise is just brushing out my eyebrows to make sure that they're in the correct position for the rest of the day. Next up, it's time to brush my teeth and I'm using a Kiss My Face toothpaste that I've really been enjoying. It is the Triple Action. And while I was brushing my teeth, I realized that I hadn't started heating up my curling iron yet, so I decided to do that and then get back to brushing. It's taken me way too long to start doing this, but I finally started using heat protection on my hair. This is a Pacifica 10 in 1 product for your hair. It helps with heat protection, styling, and a few other things, so I've been using it as a multi-purpose product for the past couple weeks. It's time to curl my hair. I do this about once every two or three days and honestly it's just because I like the look of the more formed curls instead of the loose kind of crazy waves that I have naturally. I use a probably $10 curling iron that's a half inch wide that I got from Target quite a while back and just wrap the barrel around my hair like you would a wand to get these really uh, cool waves that mimic my natural hair pattern. 
And to cap it off, I just put on a little bit of lip balm. This is one I definitely like and it has rose oil in it. Next up, it's time to change. I always try to front load the liquids for my day, so I usually start off by having a glass of water and I will usually put in a couple of slices of fruit, either a lemon, a lime, orange, whatever. Today obviously we're having lemon, but I get dehydrated really easily so having lots of liquids at the beginning of my day definitely helps me to avoid the headaches I often get. Plus lemon water just tastes good anyways. I also will put on a tea in the morning. This is a good way to get about 20 ounces of liquid in in the first hour of being up. This morning I had a loose leaf rooibos tea from David's Tea that my sister actually got me for my birthday. I love the fact that it has this really sweet warm flavor and it just tastes absolutely delicious. With liquids in hand I usually head over to the couch but not before lighting the Christmas tree and of course a candle just for that lovely cozy atmosphere that all of us want at this time of year. After that, I usually try to do a little bit of reading, probably for 10 to 15 minutes, and this morning in particular, I was reading from Luke. After that, it's time to get to work, so I'll usually open up my laptop and get started on one of a large variety of tasks that I complete on my computer. Okay guys, so we have reached the point in my day when I usually just sit down and get to work on either my internship or school or editing a YouTube video. And I usually do that until about 12 p.m. when I take my breakfast to lunch break. I do intermittent fasting, so I don't actually eat until 12. So I might show you guys what I eat today, but if I do, it'll just be some quick video footage and I'll insert it at the end of the video. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this morning routine video and kind of Christmas edition, uh, if you will. I definitely love being able to just have a relaxing way to get up in the morning. I would say start to finish getting ready usually takes me about an hour in the morning and I really like that rate because it still gives me plenty of time to get things done in my day and I don't feel like it takes forever but it's not so rushed that I, you know, don't feel like I have time to do the things that I want to do. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your morning routine looks like in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Remember that if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would do so today. And you guys have a fantastic day today. I'll see you in the next video.